Trial and improvement, grade C GCSE, level seven national curriculum. A pretty standard question, always the same or very similar. Often, well, pretty much always, one decimal place you need to find the answer to. You set this out in the same sort of way. You need to draw yourself a little table. Um, here's your X value. Here's the thing we're calculating, X cubed plus five X. This is calculator based. And we should be saying whether it's too big or too small. And then using that to help us calculate the next value. We're told it's between 3 and 4. So let's start with 3 and 4 just to get our bearings. 3 is our first value of x. So we want 3 cubed plus 5x. So using the calculator, 3 cubed, 3 to the power of 3. Now you could use this power button, but I do have a cube button here. Uh, plus 5 uh, times x which is 3 so that would give me 42 if you're using the power button let's just go back to that if you're going to use the power button be very careful so if I ca carry on calculating this by just typing it in like that that would be wrong because these are all in the power so if I'm using the power button I need to come out of the power using the arrows and then I should be okay to get the 42 okay next value we know it's between 3 and 4, so let's try 4. So 4 cubed plus 5 times 4, or 20, is 84. Okay, and we're trying to make that equal to 67. So we're trying to find that answer. But this is 42, which is too small. This is too big. So we're going between the classic value to use is halfway. So 3.5 cubed plus 5 times 3. 0.5 and we started to get fractions here but we can change that to a decimal 60.375 and we want 67 so that's too small so then we just start working our way up so 3.6 cubed plus um, 5 times 3.6 getting longer decimals now so 64.656 still too small I want 67 so 3.7 hopefully this is going to be big enough um, plus 5 times 3.7 is going to be 69.153 so that's um, too big so we have actually found either side of the answer we want 67 this one is about um, two and a half away. This one is just over two away. So this is the closest one, but this is the value of X. So that's what we're looking for, 3.7. Now, if I wrote, just wrote 3.7 there, I would get one mark. Um, to get the fourth mark, I do need to try one more value between 3.6 and 3.7. And the classic one to try is 3.65, always going halfway. Um, I'm not really sure the exact reasoning behind this, but um, it's always been the case on these exams. To get the fourth mark, you need to have calculated one in between the two values that are um, that the answer must lie between. So that's too small. So we know that 3.7 is definitely the closest because that one's too small and that's that's halfway. So 3.6 is not close enough. So you get um, you get one mark for showing um, something along the 42 and 84. One mark for getting um, some working in one correct answer between uh, 3.5 uh, between 3 and 4. So 3.5, 3.6, or 3.7. You get one mark for writing the answer 3.7 and then one for trying something between those two values, although you're only going to pick this va this value ever because it has to be to one decimal place. So there we have it, a standard grade C question. This one's the last one on this exam paper. Should be four marks. Practice these and you will gain four marks at grade C on using your calculator.